everyone and welcome to Anne's Family Recipe. Today I'm going to share with you a few of my favorite things from this past year, all kitchen and food related, as well as an easy, delicious crock pot recipe. I gathered up a few of my favorite kitchen gadgets and food items from throughout this past year and I'm going to share them all with you today. Anything that you can buy on Amazon, I will link for you in my description box below in my Amazon storefront and one of you is going to win all of these items. So stay tuned to the end for details on how to win that. First up on my list of favorite things is small but mighty. It is this scraper from Pampered Chef. Now I wasn't able to order a Pampered Chef brand for you, but I did order a three pack of something incredibly similar on Amazon, according to the reviews. It's basically just a brown square of plastic. It has three rounded edges and then a slightly pointier edge. It's pretty thin and it will get anything off of anything. I can use this to scrape on the most stuck on food off of any pan that I have in my kitchen. Also, I've used this on the floors and walls of my house. If my kids put a sticker there and then I can't get that extra gunk off, you just scrape it with the edge of this and it works like a charm. It's incredible. You will be surprised at how easily food comes off of pans and other functions that you can use this for. So you will get a pack of three of these little scrapers. Next up is a very specific kitchen tool. And I'm not super into single purpose gadgets. I like something that you can use for multiple purposes. For example, I prefer just having a good knife over a bunch of other gadgets to cut and chop all different kinds of things. However, if you like to eat cherries, you need a cherry pitter. This is a total game changer, unless you're biting into cherries individually and spitting out the seeds, which adults can do, but little kids kind of have a trouble grasping that concept. So particularly for my kids, it is so nice to be able to pit cherries for them in the summertime. So you just place it in the little hole in the middle and then press down and this silver bar presses the pit right out. Now I haven't tried this, but in the description for this item on Amazon, it actually says you can use this as an olive pitter too. So it is actually multi-purpose. Now for you, I did not buy the single cherry pitter. I actually bought one that can do six at a time. So it'll go a little bit faster, but it's still fairly compact, easy to clean, and it's so, so handy. Next up is Maldon sea salt flakes. And I've been incorporating these into a lot of my baked goods and just as a finishing touch to some of my dishes. So these are considered a finishing salt. So it's these flakes of sea salt. They're slightly milder in flavor than regular salt. You can also sprinkle this over any kind of meat just for some added flavor. My favorite use is sprinkling this over top of baked goods. So just a light touch over brownies or cookies kind of gives you that sweet and salty pairing, which I personally love. There is so much in here. I don't know if you will ever go through this entire box. I certainly don't think I will mine, but they're really fun to experiment with in the kitchen. So I thought you'd enjoy your own box of sea salt flakes. So in case you didn't know, I had my fifth child this year. My daughter Claire was born in October. Before she arrived, I prepped a bunch of freezer meals. And something that I've seen a lot of people use on YouTube are these crock pot liners. So I bought myself a box and they really have come in so handy just for extremely easy cleanup. Now I've used a product like this in the past in one of my videos. Um, it's Reynolds brand and they make turkey bags, which I actually used to bake a ham at Christmas last year, I believe. I'll link that video for you in the description box below. It was delicious because it locks in the moisture. You just line your crock pot with these, add all the ingredients as per usual, and then at the end, you can just lift the entire bag out and you have basically no cleanup. Sometimes there's a little bit of condensation or moisture underneath, so you might need to wipe it out with a paper towel, but otherwise your crock pot is totally clean when you're finished cooking, which is so handy at the end of a long day that you don't have to spend extra time scraping out any bits in your crock pot. Although if you needed to, you would have a very nice scraper on hand to help you with that. Next up are my favorite seasonings that I found this year. It's the Kinder's brand. So you can find these at all different kinds of stores. I find mine at Walmart, but I've seen people buy them in bulk at Sam's Club. And of course you can order them on their website too. So my favorite has been this buttery burger blend. I've been putting this 
pretty much into any meat dish that I make. I filmed a Croctober video where I use this in my smothered pork chops, so I'll link that for you down below. I actually reached out to Kinders to see if they would like to contribute anything to my giveaway because I really do like their products. And they were super generous and sent me a huge bottle of The Blend, which is salt, pepper, and garlic. There's their taco seasoning and little packets of their buttery burger blend. So these would be perfect stocking stuffers. You can try some and then several other people in your family or some friends can try it too. That's my favorite seasoning. As soon as you taste it, you will see why. It is lemony and buttery and savory and just so, so delicious. In fact, I have a delicious crock pot recipe that I'm gonna share with you right now that includes this buttery burger blend. All right, I'm in my kitchen making some crock pot cheeseburger soup. And speaking of favorites, this has been one of my family's favorite recipes that we discovered this year from my friend Amber. Her channel is called Amber at Home. And in fact, we just did a collaboration video recently of a Sam's Club taste test, trying out some of their holiday foods. So I'm gonna link that for you in the description box below, along with the original recipe for this soup. So let me show you how I make it. To start the soup, I diced up some peeled potatoes, carrots, and onions, and I'm gonna put those into my crock pot along with three cups of chicken broth. And I'm just using this better than bouillon, um, like concentrated paste and dissolving it into some hot water. And then I'll season that with Italian seasoning and this Kinder's Buttery Burger Blend, which is so delicious. It's been one of my favorite seasonings that I've discovered this year. It has obviously a very buttery flavor, but also a slight lemony touch to it. Yeah, you can see the ingredients there, salt, garlic, um, onion, mushroom powder. So there's that bit of kind of savory umami flavor going on, lemon juice, butter, turmeric for color, chili pepper. I don't find that this is has any heat to it, but it is just so delicious. So this was what kind of inspired me to reach out to Kinders in the first place because I wanted other people to try this amazing spice blend. Veggies are in and I'm gonna add in the broth. This is the Italian seasoning. The original recipe I believe calls just for dried basil and dried parsley, but I'm just using the blend because that's what I have. And then the recipe did not call for this, but I added it in and I'm so thankful I did because it tastes amazing. So I'll do probably about a teaspoon of this buttery burger blend seasoning. Smells awesome. So I covered my crock pot and you can cook this on low for six to eight hours or on high for four to five hours. When there's about an hour left of the soup cooking in the crock pot, I browned up a pound of ground beef and then I'm gonna drain the fat and add the meat into the soup. Next, we're making a creamy white sauce to add into the soup to sort of thicken it up. So that includes three tablespoons of butter, melted and combined with a quarter cup of flour. Then you whisk in two cups of milk and season it with kosher salt, black pepper. And here again, I add a little sprinkling of that Kinder's buttery burger blend. So this white sauce is starting to thicken up. I'm gonna season it just with a little kosher salt, black pepper, and the Kinder seasoning. And then we'll add it into the soup. The cream sauce is in, and the final step is to add about two cups of shredded cheddar cheese into the soup and then you just let this cook for a while till everything melts together. And that's it. It's a delicious, creamy, flavorful, very family-friendly soup. Every year I like to get each person in my family a unique candy for their Christmas stocking. And last year, for myself, I went to Target and I discovered these Lint Snickerdoodle Truffles. And they are 
incredible. It's a white chocolate coating and then the interior is snickerdoodle flavored, so kind of a cinnamon sugar creamy white chocolate filling. Amazing. I don't know if you've ever tried this Lint brand of truffle, but they have this very thin, almost crunchy outer shell and then the inside is like butter. It's this smooth, creamy, rich filling. They have all different kinds of flavors. The snickerdoodle is seasonal, so you're not gonna find these all year round, and I have a nice big bag just for you. Last but not least, one of my favorite things is Dunkin' Donuts. I usually go there at least once a week. We usually go after church on Sundays, but I've also discovered the Dunkin' app, so now I'm there multiple times a week getting beverages to earn my rewards points, and I got you a Dunkin' gift card to fuel you throughout this holiday season. So to enter this giveaway, be sure you are subscribed to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, and most importantly, comment below with one of your favorite things that you discovered this year. I'll be choosing the winner at random and announcing it one week from today on Wednesday, December 15th. I'll put all this information in the description box along with the name of the winner once they win, and I'll be sure to reach out to contact you as well. Thank you so much for joining me here today. I hope you liked seeing all of my favorite things from this past year, and good luck on the giveaway. Bye.